أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الذي خلق السماوات والأرضين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته قال الله تبارك وتعالى بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا نحن نزلنا الذكر وإنا له لحافظ وقال تعالى أيضا ما أصاب من مصيبة في الأرض ولا في أنفسكم إلا في كتاب من قبل أن نبرأها إن ذلك على الله يسير صدق الله العلي العظيم صدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم خيركم من تعلم القرآن وعلمه رواه البخاري Respected viewers, respected listeners, respected Khabir family, respected students, respected Huffal, respected ulama, respected family friends, I greet each and every one again with universal greetings of peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. The reason why I am making this recording, it is... I can say to honor my Ustad, the person that I have been with for the past five, four to five years, the person that I took as a father, not only as a teacher, but as a father, and somebody that subhanAllah, whatever I, whatever I did when it came to recitation, when it came to lecturing, I would always send my recordings or my ayat or my lectures that I have, alhamdulillah, uh, <laughs> that I've written down, I'd always send it to Shaykh, Allah as a, as a, uh, for confirmation. And subhanAllah, we have lost a giant. We have lost somebody that I don't think the, no, I, I, I don't think that that whole or that, I don't think nobody will be able to replace it. And we have lost somebody that we've lost a father, we've lost a teacher, we've lost a, as they say, I think, we've lost a grandfather, we've lost someone very dear to us. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Holy Quran, and He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, kullu man alayha fan. Everybody upon this earth shall perish. Everybody upon this earth shall perish. In another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كل نفس ذائقة الموت. Every soul shall taste death. This shall taste death. Every single one upon this earth, we will go, we will perish. But Subhanallah, even though the, even though yes, today was the day of Yom Al-Arafah in Saudi Arabia, the day of when they make du'a to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. But to some, it may be a day of grief. To some, it may be a day of grief. We have lost a reciter, a giant in the field of Qur'an, subhanAllah. And even though, yes, we may cry about the matter, we may shed a tear now and then, but wallahi al-azim, Allah subhanahu ta'ala had ordained this, as Allah subhanahu as Rasulullah subhanahu wa says in the hadith, um, that <coughs> Rasulullah subhanahu says in the hadith, ثُمَّ يُنْسَلُ إِلَيْهِ الْمَلَكِ فَيُنْفُخُ فِيهِ الْمُوحِ وَيُؤْمَرُ بِأَنْبَعِ كَلِمَاتِ بِكَتْبِ رِزْقِهِ وَأَجَلِهِ وَعَمَلِهِ وَشَقِيٌّ أَوْ سَعِيدٌ It's a very lengthy hadith from the 40 ahadith of Imam Lawa رحمه الله تعالى حديثا before Rasulullah صلى الله عليه says that on the 40 that on the 41st day that on the 41st day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends a mal- uh, an angel who blows the breath of life into him into the human being and who is commanded about four matters, commanded to write down four matters, to write down his means of livelihood, his lifespan, his actions, and whether he'll be happy or sad. So we know, yes, Sheikh's life has already been written down. Yes, we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, ما أصاب من مصيبة في الأرض ولا في أنفسكم إلا في كتاب من قبل أن نبرأها إن ذلك على الله يسير. No calamity occurs on this earth. Knowing yourselves, 
illa fi kitab except but it is inscribed in the book of decree before we bring it into existence and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further inna dhalika ala Allah yaseer verily indeed that is easy for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says as Rasul says in a hadith that <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had ordained the measure of everything 50,000 years before you subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and earth subhanallah we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had ordained and put out the death of our Ustad. But if we reflect upon the hadith which have recited, Rasul says, Khairukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa allama the best among you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it to others. Wallahi al-Azim, I think we all should take a great lesson from this. And what is this? Yes, the word hafid means to recite the Qur'an, to preserve the Qur'an. But what is the actual meaning of hafid? It means to recite the Qur'an, to do tadabbur on it, to ponder things deeply upon the Qur'an. And once you recite the Qur'an, you understand the Qur'an in its entirety, then you make a amal upon that which you recite. Subhanallah. You make a amal, you make action upon that which you recite. Meaning, you recite the ayah, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And your Lord is ذِكْرِ وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُ That you worship none but Him, Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that you be dutiful to your parents. You recite the ayah in your salah. You recite the ayah day and night. But do you make a amal upon that? Do you implement that? And subhanallah, if you don't want to be among the best of huffal, then follow the teachings. Follow the Quran. Follow the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And follow the teachings. And follow the sayings. And follow the... The, the guidance that our Ustad has given us, Sheikh Fuad Khabir Hafidh, Allah Yilhamu, Allah SWT uh, uh, grant him Jannah to the Dawes, and may Allah SWT have mercy on his soul, inshallah, and um, grant ease to those that have been touched by him. May Allah SWT put sobbing in his family's hearts to Anti Thuraya, Mu'allima Thuraya, Sheikh Abdul Hakam Khabir, Sheikh Abdul Hafidh Khabir, and Sheikh Hawa. Khabir, Allah SWT is sobbing and contentment in the hearts of the family of Shaykh Malhamu and his students and his friends and his family members, inshallah. Wallahi al-Azim, if you want to look at a working Qur'an, follow the example of our Ustaz, subhanallah. Wherever Shaykh had gone, <laughs> and I remember, uh, I think it was in 2018 or 2019, myself and my father, we went with Shaykh to the dentist in Mitchell's play. And Sheikh had always, and Sheikh told me always, one, wherever you go, do me this favor. And I asked Sheikh, Sheikh, what is this favor that Sheikh would like to convey to me? And he tells me, Allah Yahamu, that wherever you are, carry a small Quran with you. And Subhanallah, I didn't realize. But as soon as uh, Sheikh, I finished uh, speaking to Sheikh, I lowered my head out of akhlaq and adab and respect. And then when I looked to the side of my eye, I saw Sheikh reciting Subhanallah. And <laughs> So, if you want to know who and what is the qualities of a Tung Hafid, don't, yes, you can listen to over interseas, uh, overseas and international scholars, but subhanAllah, take the advice and look at the etiquette and adab and akhlaq of our ustad that has passed on. SubhanAllah. Wherever, you, wherever Sheikh went, you could see the Qur'an is embedded in him. The Qur'an is inside his heart, SubhanAllah. When he, when he used to speak, Allah Alhamu, he's... Words was like the Qur'an speaking to you, subhanAllah, and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu And subhanAllah, I remember not long ago as well, speaking about uh, one to two years ago, uh, we used to have this, um, as we used to call it, Saki day. And uh, myself, not being a sports person, sportsman, myself and Sheikh, we used to walk around the field. So while the students were playing, myself and Sheikh, we used to walk around the field. And um, Sheikh had asked me always, did you memorize the hadith? Uh, and that hadith was indeed Allah SWT shall not take away the knowledge from the religious learned men's heart, hearts, but shall take away the religious learned men, till when none of them remains. People take ignorant persons as their leaders, till when they're consulted, when they're asked to give a verdict, they will give the knowledge without, uh, they will give the knowledge without any understanding. So they will go astray and lead the people astray. And subhanallah, I told Sheikh Ji, Sheikh, memorize the hadith. Sheikh told me, okay, 
you give me the English and the commenting and I will translate for you. Subhanallah. As myself and Sheikh were walking on the soccer field, I had given the Sheikh the, the English, Sheikh had given me the Arabic and Subhanallah, not knowing that our beloved Ustav, a couple of years later, would be leaving this earth and dunya. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rabb, with, which, with all the ayat that you've memorized from our beloved Ustad that you subhanahu wa ta'ala had, had, had bestowed for us to memorize, grant it, grant it to be a means of khayr and barakah, goodness and blessing, and nur in our Ustad's qabr, inshallah ta'ala. And allow our Ustad on the day of Qiyamah to be reunited with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Anbiya alayhim salatu was salam, the Sahaba, the Dwan Allah ta'ala alayhim ajma'in, the Shuhada, and to be reunited with his father, Shaykh Abdul Aziz Khabir Allah Yahamu, and with Shaykh's mother Allah Yahamha, and with his teacher, Shaykh Muhammad Salih Abadi Allah Yahamu, and all those that have passed, and inshallah ta'ala. Beloved Almanaris, beloved family members, beloved friends, beloved listeners, and beloved viewers, always make dua. For your Ustad and our Ustad, Shaykh Muhammad Fuad Khabir, Allah Yahamu. Because Wallahi al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not decreeing that Shaykh would teach us the Quran. As Shaykh's wife had told me yesterday, always, you are where you are today because of your Ustad and because of the duas. SubhanAllah. So always remember to make dua for your Ustad. Any ayah which you recite, it will be used as a means of goodness and khair and barakah. For you and your Ustad, our Ustad, Shaykh Fahad Khabir, Allah Hamu, and it will bring peace in the Banzakh for Shaykh and all those that have passed on. So remember Shaykh in your du'as, in your tilawat al-Qur'an, because Allah al-Azim, you are where you are today with the decay of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the du'as of appearance, and the, and the, and the sacrifice that Shaykh has put in for us. We are today where we are today because of them, inshaAllah ta'ala. So my words are, Love the Quran. Let us continue the legacy of our Ustad, inshallah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. Jazakum Allah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala. Wa barakatuh. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive me. For if there's anything wrong that, I, for anything wrong that I've said, you please forgive me and to make us among those that, to make us among those that will preserve the Quran in the best of its, capable, in the best of its entirety, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakum Allah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala. Wa barakatuh.